Hi, it's Juho here with Juho Goes EMBA. First ever questions and answers video. And in this video I will answer five excellent questions I have received regarding my experience from the Henley EMBA studies so far. The first question is, are the EMBA modules only on matters of business administration and economics? Well, it's mostly that, because it's a degree in business administration. However, because of the broad scope of experiences from different participants and lectures, there's a considerable element of practical application. And you also learn quite a lot about the subject matters of different organizations because in the workshops and in the exercises assignments we go through a lot of practical details about the businesses and operational details of, of different organizations. So that's highly useful. You get to know about the leadership challenges of different fellow students. And also at Henley there's a lot of emphasis on the societal aspect of things. So during the studies we get to work with non-profit organizations for example. So that's highly interesting and useful as well. Question number two. What people did you meet uh, during the studies? Well. I'm only in the beginning of the studies right now, but so far <laughs> uh, I've met uh, people from different countries. The lecturers are from different countries and in our study cohort we have people from Finland, Denmark and the UK. So it's, it's highly interesting to get to know people from different countries. Uh, people from different industries, military, retail, um, production, so, so a high variety of, of different kinds of industries are being represented in the student mass. And also people in different kinds of leadership roles. We have people who are team leaders, we have people who are CEOs, we have entrepreneurs, we have people working in, in various public sector organizations in, in those kind of leadership roles. So it's very interesting. And we also have academics, we have lecturers who have studied these matters thoroughly through the scientific method, which brings another interesting flavor. And they are obviously highly interesting people as well. And I think what, what we have in common in the group and also among the lecturers is, is the level of ambition. So that's good for keeping yourself motivated and energized. Everyone who is there has chosen to be there. So the level of motivation is high, so you get to meet ambitious people, which is interesting. Um, question number three. How to balance EMBA studies with work and family? Well, obviously you have to take the time from somewhere. <laughs> and I would say that different people probably solve this riddle in different ways. Um, personally, I have the possibility to take days off from work. So for me, hopefully it's mostly that. Let's see. Other people might have to work during weekends because their weeks are so busy that they don't have times from Monday to Friday to focus on concentrate on the studies. Obviously it helps if your family and colleagues are supportive to the studies. So I think that has to be negotiated beforehand. Question number four is, uh, why is the detailed content of the EMBA studies not available? Well, it is available. You can get it by contacting the Henley staff. Um, I would, however, like to stress that all information is Googleable. <laughs> that means that the universities don't have access to some kind of secret information that wouldn't be available in Wikipedia for example. And, and, and by participating and paying for EMBA, you don't pay for information. 
you don't pay for information. You pay for the teaching, the support and the experience, which is more about learning to look at the information rather than the information itself. That's, that's my take on the module content thing. And uh, question number five is, what kind of things are discussed during the course modules and what have I personally learned so far? Well, my experience is still quite limited. I have only completed the first module, managing processes and systems. So far, the discussions have lived up well to the promise of integrating theory to practice. So there has been a lot of scientific input on different subject matters, but also a lot of concrete real world examples. And, and, and a lot of time is being spent by discussing various uh, situations in the respective organizations of, of, of us, the students. So that brings a lot of practicality and, and insight into the mix. What I have learned during the first module is that my first intuitive thinking on the matter was on the right perimeter of things, but what I have learned through the systematic application of various tools and frameworks is that there is considerable potential in, in broadening and deepening my understanding of different matters. So that's something I'm, I'm looking forward to explore in the future models as well. I have some kind of impression or, or a general level understanding of, of many matters regarding uh, business administration or, or business leadership, but, but the modules enable me to, to go deeper in that through the experience of, of going through different systematic ways of thinking and ways of working. And I've actually written a blog post on this as well on the Henley Finland website, a blog post on the importance of unlearning. You might want to, to have a look at that. Okay. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed my questions and answer video number one for Juha Goes EMBA. Have a good day.